Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn about international relations. Today's topic is selection problems in sanctions crises. And we're talking about the different methodological issues that you get yourself involved in when you're looking at trying to analyze sanctions by the data that we have on sanctions being observed. And this actually ties in with another one of those lies that your cable news channel might tell you. This is actually a lie by omission. People on cable news never talk about sanctions episodes that never occur. So if a sanctions crisis doesn't actually happen because there's a strategic element involved, we never end up talking about it on the news, which in turn means that we don't actually think sanctions and the threat of sanctions are as effective as they actually are. And we can see this by setting up a pretty simple game. This is a target and a sender choosing whether to escalate all the way up to a sanctions crisis. So we have our target in red and his payoffs are in red and the sender's payoffs are in blue. The target can either back down from the issue that the sender doesn't like, essentially concede it to the sender, or the sender can, uh, after the target has escalated, choose to sanction or give up. So if the target is continuing this crisis by escalating it, the sender can choose to impose sanctions against that target regime or just give up. And I've put some payoffs here just to illustrate what's going on in terms of the selection problem that we're going to see. So don't pay too much attention to these payoffs. Just note how the different outcome of the game is going to change as a particular payoff changes. So we have the back down payoffs just set to zeros for both parties. We have the sender, if he gives up, uh, receiving a negative infinity, so that's very bad for him, and the target receiving a positive 100, so it's very good for the target if the sender backs down after the target escalates. And we have a variable at the end where if the target escalates and the sender sanctions, the target gets negative x and the sender gets x. So what's going to happen here is going to depend on the value for x. Notice that by virtue of the fact that I've given the sender a payoff of negative infinity if the sender chooses to give up, we know that the sender is always going to sanction in this case. Now, in reality, that's not always true. Sometimes the sender would prefer to give up than impose sanctions. But let's just look at this particular case where regardless of how ineffective sanctions are, the sender would still want to impose them and not give up. Well, if x is less than zero, what we're going to see is escalation followed by sanctioning. Why is that? Well, the target knows that if it escalates, the sender is going to sanction, and the target is going to receive a payoff of negative x. But in this case, when x is less than zero, x is a negative number, so if you take the negative of a negative number, x is suddenly positive, which means if the target escalates, it's ultimately going to receive a positive payoff, whereas if the target just backs down at the beginning, it receives a payoff of zero. So in this case, we're going to see sanctions actually being imposed. And notice that in this case, sanctions are relatively ineffective. They're actually beneficial to some degree for the target and not very beneficial for the sender, but still better for the sender than just purely giving up. So in this case, we're seeing sanctions being imposed and the sanctions are not that effective. What happens when X is greater than zero? Well, in this case, the target is going to back down. And the reason that the target is going to back down is that if the target were to escalate, the sender would choose to sanction. That's why I have written up there at the top, if x is greater than zero, we're going to have the target back down and the sender sanction in the counterfactual world where the target chose to escalate. And the reason that the target is choosing to back down here is because conditional on the target escalating, the sender chooses to sanction and the target receives a payoff of negative x. And now because x is a positive number, taking the negative of the positive number means that you have a small payoff for the target. And the target, by virtue of the fact that it's getting a negative value if it chooses to escalate and have the sender follow up by sanctioning, well, the target would prefer to just back down in that case and receive a payoff of zero. Notice that in this case, in contrast to the previous case, sanctions are actually quite effective. 
Sanctions are stronger in this case than before, but we're not actually seeing those sanctions being imposed because the target is anticipating how bad the sanctions will be for it and proactively choosing to back down and avoid getting those really bad sanctions imposed against it. And when you have this sort of strategic decision making that influences your data set, you run into something known as a selection problem. And this occurs when you have strategic actions determining whether outcomes appear in a data set. And applied to this particular case, this is going on because we have a target having a strategic decision whether to back down determining whether we observe sanctions in practice. And because the really strong sanctions are really scary to the target, the target chooses to back down and avoid having those sanctions ever be imposed. And that means that if we were to just look at situations again where we are having these sorts of sanctions crises, we're going to have a bias in our estimates of the causal relationship and the causal effectiveness of sanctions because the only sanctions that we're going to see imposed are the weakest of sanctions, precisely because the strongest of sanctions in theory deters the target from escalating and forces the target to back down, meaning that they'll never show up in our decision uh, in the data set for the sender to choose to sanction or give up. The target is just going away, uh, backing out of the crisis, and making sure that we never actually reach a situation where we would see those sanctions being imposed. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.